right, so uh, new tower, one of these 25 stage towers have just come out, which is a great way to finish one of those missions that require you to uh, play the last stage with SR characters, you know the one. Um, so if you haven't done that yet, I recommend you do it on this tower. I mean, I don't think you can do it in a regular tower anyways, and I think that's why they're bringing this tower so often. I don't complain about this tower because it actually has pretty decent rewards for how easy it is. Now, I am quite a bit disappointed though, because when I saw the patch notes, this is the picture they used for the tower, right? And as you may see, there's Tarmio in there. Now, I thought that this would be a goddess, you know, you know, theme tower. But as I open the game, it's just the same tower. We've got 500 times. How hard is it to just swap the enemies? <laughs> it's literally the same tower. Like, yeah, it would still have been easy, probably, if it was a goddess themed, but at least it would have different enemies and maybe like a different final boss with like different like ways of beating it. It's just, it's just the same, like, I think the reason why they bring this specific tower so often is because it's easy content and easy rewards, plus you have to beat that mission somehow. But come on, get swapped the enemies, it's the same enemies every time. Well, I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time, which is actually try to speed run it. This is the team I'm gonna be using. I could use King, but I wanted to use Shin and Mali. Will work as my my uh, my last attack on the combo, so I'm gonna go Shin Shin Mali uh, every single stage and most likely kill in one turn, maybe except the last stage. I don't remember exactly how it was last time. If I did kill every single stage in one turn, I think I did. Like th again, these stages are not very hard. Now bringing Arthur because uh, again. Um, I do want Shin to be the, the main focal point here, and for that I sort of like need the debuff. See right there, I don't know if King would have like one hit him. You know what I mean? I think he wouldn't. Like th this, this first like stage here, th those enemies, I'm pretty sure they're more on the tankier side than these other ones we're gonna see ahead, but yeah. Uh, speaking of the patch that we just got, if you missed out on the last video talking about patch notes, uh, on these patch notes they did mention every you know, every single player. Um, if, you, if you saw your sub box, I did make it, make it on my title basically. Every single player will be getting a um, a gift on their box with 100 gems. Plus we're getting a login bonus for 35 gems. Um, they haven't been this like generous, I guess, in terms of gems. I think since the last festival, or the last like combo of festivals with like King and then um, and then uh, Melly afterwards, I think that we are probably gonna starting to go to a period where there's gonna be like a lot of like major banners, and that might be why they drop like such a, a big thing. And you know they're they're dropping the six gigabyte update, which is pretty big. Um, my main theory is that maybe it's just like an issue they had so that they're forcing people to like maybe have to reinstall the game because of it. You don't actually have to reinstall. Some people were confused about like that. Like you don't have to, re you're not gonna have to like reinstall the game. They're just gonna actually make you like download a big file to replace the, the, the main game file. It's not gonna be like anything complicated. Um, Maybe like they had an issue with the files and they might even like delete a lot of the stuff that they uh, we had like leaked that wasn't like real, you know, like maybe they're gonna delete like those files and say like fate collab. <laughs> if they're not deleted already, I don't, I, I don't know. Um, maybe they're gonna do stuff like that and maybe they're just gonna add like a bunch of stuff. I, I wouldn't be surprised if um, that PVE game mode they mentioned the dev notes is something uh, is going to be patched in with the six gigabytes. You know, if it's something like huge, um, like something on the scope of like the demonic beast battle, but like a completely different game mode, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, they wanted to do like a big overhaul for it. But I mean, my biggest like uh, desire for like such a big patch would be like a, 
like a, a, a graphical update on especially the PC version. Not that the PC version looks bad. Um, I think it looks very good. It's just that it definitely could look better, especially when you're like doing like close-ups of characters. When you do like a character close-up on the PC version, it looks like you're in the, in the Nokia from the 1990s. Like, it doesn't look that good. It really doesn't. Uh, it could be a little better, for sure. When you're playing with the characters on the regular stage, you know, I have a 1440p monitor, and I, I think the game scales well with 1440p. And like, if I'm playing like this, like, oh, she looks pretty good. Like, the anti-aliasing is pretty nice. But when you start zooming in on the characters' faces, you you know this. There's uh, there's quite a bit of pixels there. Uh, it ends up being ends up being you know not as nice looking. Like you know if you play like Genshin on the PC version, you don't have that issue. That's why mainly like I'm saying like they're clearly okay. If the boss stage is not actually just one turn, maybe if I had King, I would. I don't know. Um, I want to do this with Shen. Uh, they're clearly like trying to like scope in or scoop in that market into their products uh, like you know with Origin coming out um, so I, you know I wouldn't be surprised if they were looking into improving the graphical fidelity for um, that demographic and it would be very nice I, I think it would be very nice it would be nice for thumbnails because <laughs> whenever I do a close close up on a character's face for a thumbnail it just doesn't look very good uh, it looks very you know low definition most of the time again it's fine the game looks pretty good but it's just minor things and you know if you see like new like story cutscenes the the lighting and stuff for a lot of the cutscenes look very good they're definitely doing like some really good work with the cutscenes for the game for the story and for ragnarok as well um I, i'm assuming most of you skip the the ragnarok cutscenes i wouldn't I wouldn't blame you. But, you know, a lot of them look really good. Uh, some of them, not really, but... <laughs> you know, they can't make every cutscene look good. They, 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 have to, uh, they have to ship it in time, you know? Um, but yeah, graphical fidelity would be nice. And I mean, again, if they make the big update to um, add up that new PvP game mode, that, you know, that, that says that the game mode could be, like, pretty big. Could be... Uh, a pretty huge thing in the game. Melee seems to be hitting harder than Shin. Maybe I should attack with Melee as my second attacker. Like, as my second attack. I mean, it's just like, I'm, I'm just, I, I just put my mouse on the right of the screen. Just I'm just mashing, right? Because it's going to be like Shin, Shin, Melee. So it's like zero effort, zero brain power going. But what if... I go with this, right? Because he's already gonna have they're already gonna have debuffs, so I go Shin Shin. Or I go Shin Melee. And then before I can even click on the next card, I just move my mouse slightly. Because Melee just hits much harder. It's <laughs> it's not even close. Also using Bond in the back, I mean I felt like with uh Arthur lowering their crit resistance i wouldn't need death pierce anyways um so bond increasing my my attack related stats by 10 percent it's pretty nice it's not a great like the greatest thing ever but you know as a back character not they, they don't really release that many good back characters really like really think about it you know the only like actual good back character that's a festival in the game is Zeldris. Like, you say, oh, Bond's a really good back character, but that's not because he's doing something for the characters in the front, right? He's just good when he comes out, essentially. Like, Zeldris actually does some... Okay, that... Now I know for these enemies, I should attack Shin, Shin, Melee. Because then Shin will kill, and then Melee kill again. Because then they won't be debuffed if, uh, if they get resurrected. Okay. I definitely will not remember, but I'll try. Um, what was I talking about? Yep, exactly. Whatever, whatever I was saying. Yeah, I mean they, they don't release uh, that many. And again, like the one against oh, the one is a really good fourth. I mean he is he has good CC. So yeah, he's he's a, 
He's not a bad option for a fourth character, but he's not really contributing to the team, really. We're still using Green Gil Thunder, for God's sakes. Green Gil Thunder, an SR character that was <laughs> released with the game. And we're still using him. Okay, this is a boss. I, I think I'm not gonna just one turn anyway, so I'm just gonna double tackle Shin in the melee. We're still using Green Gill because there there hasn't been a single better defensive support fourth slot in the game yet. Since Green Gill Thunder. That says something. I mean again, you can say oh Zaljus, you know. But Zaljus gives you're talking pure defense. He gives 24% defense if you have the, the, the whole enemy debuffed, right? Wow, Green Go Thunder gives 30 related stats. That's like so much better. And of course, Zaldrin also gives like HP and attack, but again, you, you still need the enemies to be debuffed and stuff. It's not like he's doing it super casually. I wonder why they're so scared of giving these up supports. Like, again, they, they gave like base Helbrum the fairy support which again base halberd you know it's not the best <laughs> it's really not the best he has three very outdated characters so it's like they clearly weren't trying to make him too good no revive thank you the ship is single target with melee actually it's fine they're clearly not trying to make him too good, you know? Or the the buff itself to be too good. Because if they really wanted to, they should have given it to, um, like, a new fairy, right? I should have attacked with melee. <laughs> attacked with R4. R4 is still kill. Yeah. They should have given it to, like, a new fairy character. Like, uh, they release, I don't know, a new Ragnarok fairy and then give them, like, a, a, a stat buff like that. Or like give just fairies like a 45% defense release stat buff or attack attack release stat buff that'd be too much. 45% attack release stat buff would be too much. Buffing attack is way more significant than buffing defense, right? Especially attack related stats. Imagine if there was a character in the game that buffed fairies attack related stats by like 30%. That'd be insane, because obviously King is still one of the best units in the game. That, that character would be actually insane. Just run him as a fourth, and like King is like in, <laughs> better than Meliodas at the AoE DPS. I mean, technically he is, I guess, but. Ah, you're kidding me! I think King is just better than Shen, actually. <laughs> no, I really wanted to do some Shen. I mean, I'm still gonna do it, but like. I had faith on my boy that he would be actually just as fast, if not faster than King. I don't know, I feel like, uh, I feel like when I'm farming with Shin, he, he tends to like, feel like he hits harder than King, actually. Maybe I'm just being biased. Maybe I'm being biased. But I feel like Shin is a pretty good hard, hard hitter for AoE. I don't know why he's, he's not looking too impressive. He's not like looking underwhelming or anything, but you know. You compare that to like Melee attacking right after, and Melee just destroys him in damage, right? Um, even though he's not getting any buffs whatsoever, because I'm just doing AoEs. In any case, you know. If they uh, if they drop, like, a, like a, a new game mode with this patch, that would be nice. And especially because, you know, next week, that's when the, the, the update's coming. It's gonna be, like, a, a big update week, right? It's either, it's either gonna be a festival or a collab. I'm leaning towards... I don't even know. <laughs> like, it really could be either a festival or a collab. And if it is a festival, who could it be? If it is a collab, it's definitely going to be slime. Because they're, they're still, like, they're dropping new assets for slime every other week, right? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they dropped the 60 gigabytes for slime. Like, they just drop like, a mega slime celebration. Because slime... The first time around was very popular. And I mean, every collab has been very successful. The only collab I think, I don't know why it wasn't that hype, was um, was uh, the second time around for KOF. In terms of like, 
you know, the amount of Terry's you see around, obviously, like, you know, Terry, <laughs> that's, like, one of the craziest scenes in the game, but, like, in terms of, like, uh, how many people were, like, excited for it, there, there wasn't much excitement for, like, KOF's return. But I think it's just because KOF isn't, like, a, a game that blends very much with, like, some of the least in terms of, like, uh, fan base. Like, there, there isn't much of a cross between fan bases, right? But, like, you know, Slime is a big one. Like, there's a lot of crossover. Like, a, 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 like basically every Grand Cross YouTuber was, like, hyping up the new Slime game, right? <laughs> Which, as much as, you know, we're not really playing it anymore. None of us are, really. The game is actually pretty successful. In, in Japan, the game is still, like almost competing with Grand Cross in revenue uh, still, even though the game really fell off like for like uh, English-speaking audiences. In Japan, the slime game is actually very popular still. Um, but you know, the Japanese market is way more leaning towards like very simple games like slime. So I guess it makes sense. Oh. Plenty making me work for it. Doing like no damage. I, I guess it makes sense in that regard because um, they just are. It's just like uh, there's the new um, Jujutsu Kaisen game that's uh, that's coming. You know, it's I don't know if it's coming this year or next year. And you know, I can already see that game not being popular basically at all. With like uh, English speaking audience, but like it's gonna be probably like very popular in the U.S. because that game looks incredibly simplistic. It looks like Fate Grand Order basically, which Fate Grand Order. Uh, uh, if you like Fate Grand Order, like it, it, I don't know, I, I never really played it, right? But looking at gameplay, it just looks very simplistic, like turn based. It looks kind of like it looks kind of bad, <laughs> like graphic graphical wise, it looks pretty bad. Um, but you know. It's very popular in Japan. In in English speaking, it's still popular, but it's not nearly as popular as it is in Japan. Like the that turn based two D animation style is like very popular in Japan for whatever reason. So that game is probably gonna, that game is probably going to do very well in Japan, but I don't see like um, you know if I'm if I was to make videos in a new like a game like that, I would I would not because I would just get like terrible views because no. No one in the English-speaking audience would care about games like that anymore. Genshin just ruined it, alright, for mobile g game developers, right? If your game doesn't look like Genshin anymore, your game is not even acceptable, alright? That's why... <laughs> that's why the Marble's making Origin. They know. And I mean, me, listen, Mihoyo is like a, is like a crazy development team. Like they they are they already like know that like the next thing to make big big box is like the metaverse. They changed their whole company name, and like, Nemarbo is like basically like they're like okay, we're also gonna make like five hundred like metaverse games as well. Mobile games are are, are going crazy. I wonder if in like in five years. It's like games like Genshin are gonna be completely like overthrown by like just Dokkan style games where like it's super simplistic. Like everyone just reverts to like 2012 mobile games, like cut the rope. <laughs> that would be hilarious. In any, I mean, for I don't know, for anime games, it's uh, the bar has been growing for like regular mobile games, it really hasn't. Like, Candy Crush is still, like, top grossing. But, you know, for anime games, you know, th th this is why, you know, Origin, if they don't make that game look good, that's just gonna flop. And I hope it doesn't, because, uh, you know, the way that the dev team has been talking about Origin, they really want, like, Origin and Grand Cross to be two games that they have simultaneously, like, Origin is going to be a completely, like, original story. And they definitely want, like, both games to be good. In terms of, like, revenue. At the same time. It would be nice playing both. I mean, although... <laughs> if Origin is, like, you know, way better. <laughs> I definitely would swap my content to be entirely Origin. For sure. Like, there's no doubt about it. Right? 
I mean, it would definitely give them like a incentive to be better, like Grand Cross, right? If because there's definitely going to be like two different teams working on each game, right? So I I would it would I wouldn't be surprised if like in the the studio and the marble, like the 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 overheads be like, so uh, you guys you guys looking at the other team? They're making way more, more money than you are. You better you better step up, huh? Better make your game better. You gonna you're gonna lose that promotion. I I I don't know. That sounds pretty good actually. <laughs> you know. Um. I mean. I oh, I still need to read. That's the apocalypse. I want. I wonder if uh, I like. It. I, I mean. I I'm assuming it, it won't be too much, like different to Seven Deadly Sins. You know, Seven Deadly Sins has a really bad rap because of the shitty anime. But man, the manga is so raw. If you've never read the manga for Seven Deadly Sins, like I know reading is like cringe, but like the manga, like the the, the drawings. Like the original drawings are actually very good for like the the fights and stuff, they're actually very good. Like I, I've read, I haven't read much manga, but like a lot of manga, like the fights are just pretty shitty. <laughs> like they just do like a lot of like uh, like those speed lines and stuff. But Seven Deadly Sins is actually very good. It's not it's not JoJo. Araki is a beast. But it's really good. I need to, I need to go back to reading JoJo Part Eight. It's just ah, uh, I hate monthly stuff. I just I just hate monthly manga. Isn't isn't Nasty Apocalypse monthly as well? I think I heard someone say it is. I just hate monthly manga because. I just completely forget what happened. Like I'm, I'm stupid. Like I'm. It's, it's bad enough that I'm being forced to read, right? Which is again cringe. But I also have to remember stuff. That's too much for me. Like a month between chapters. Like it, it makes the, 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 the. Uh, uh, like the season, go like very long, right? Because like. Jojo Part 8 has been in production since, what, 2011, I want to say? So it's been like 11 years? It's like 2011 or 2012? It's been like 10, 10 11 years since Jojo Part 8 has started. And that shit's not done yet. <laughs> it's been like 10, it's like 11, 12 years, bro. That's just part eight! It's not even talking about the whole thing! Like, JoJo's been going on for like decades! But like, just this one part, this one season, it's been going on for 11 years! Like, that's too long! You know, this is the thing, like, if you start after it's done, then you don't feel it so bad. But if you're reading like every month, imagine. Starting a season of an anime and finishing that season like 13 years later. You're not gonna fucking remember what happened in the beginning? It's been 13 years! I'm a completely different person now. I'm a grown-ass adult at that point, you know? It's like... <laughs> it's like <laughs> I hate monthly manga. I was the same thing. I, w I was reading Boruto as well, and like I just stopped reading it because I just couldn't remember stuff anymore. Like his monthly manga is so painful to read. And again, like if I'm gonna go through all of that of reading, which is <laughs> so hard, <laughs> um, that doesn't make it easy for me, right? In any case, I'll read Nights of the Apocalypse. I I just you know I just need like. Origin to have like a date, so I'd be like, okay, I'll start out Nights of the Apocalypse and finish it before Origin comes out. Because although they won't be, you know, doing the story of Nights of the Apocalypse in Origin, the the characters will be there for the original story, so I might as well know, you know, how the characters are, their personalities and stuff, right? Because like, 
when the characters are, you know, around for the Ragnarok story in Grand Cross, like, it's a completely different story. But I know how Bon is, and I know how Meliodas is. So when they do something, I know how their character should be, or how they should react, right? I just... I'm just scared, if I'm being honest. Of just <laughs> being trapped in the monthly release again. If it is... If it is what I'm remembering, because I remember someone did tell me it was monthly. Which means it's probably not that much to read. I mean, if I, if I was a mangaka like... The guy who made Seven Deadly Sins, which, you know... He made a whole story already, like... You know, for the sequel, I wouldn't be trying so hard. Like, make it weekly? Like, that's a lot of work, actually. Imagine coming up with a chapter every week? That's so much work. You gotta, you gotta actually, you know... Think of the the story as it goes, or make the story up as it goes, while thinking of the future of the story as well, right? Monthly lets uh, the author be more imaginative, which is why JoJo is monthly. Like the the best JoJo parts are the monthly ones. Part seven and part eight are monthly, and they are the best parts. But I wouldn't say by far, but like they are the best parts. You know, this is an excuse that this shit's gonna be going on for 12 years, but like, you know, it is really good. Uh, part, listen, I know this video's been deranged of topic, but you know, I'm just... This, this takes like zero brain effort, so I'm just talking. Part 7 of JoJo is actually like the best thing I've ever... Like, been in presence of. Not just media. It's the best thing to ever exist. It's actually, it's actually so good. It's actually insane. And the fact that that guy, he's like 70 years old now, Araki. He's like almost 70 years old. And part eight is almost just as good. Like how? That, like, I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to think when I'm 70 years old. I'm already dumb. Like how can, how can you be such a genius? It's insane. In any case, we're almost done. <laughs> we're almost done. Uh, I hope the patch is good. <laughs> I hope it's not just like, I don't know, nothing. Like, it's just a patch. I'll be actually pretty disappointed. Because now I'm, I'm hyping myself up in my head. Like, you didn't say there's anything coming, right? I'm just hyping it up in my head that there's there's something coming with this like big update. And if there's not, I'll be actually pretty sad. Because they did say again in the dev notes that they're working on this like completely different like way of playing PvE in this game mode. Where like they're 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 making the activity or that that's their word, right? I don't know if I can believe them. But they're making the activity in a way where it's not gonna be unit dependent, like Demonic Beast battle is, where like, if you don't have the units that are good for Demonic Beast battle, you're not gonna have a good time, right? Like, if, if you're playing the deer and you don't have the BDSM waifu, it's shit, like, the, the activity is so annoying. They're gonna make an activity that is challenging, but it's not unit dependent, which I think that that's impossible, right? Like, oh, I forgot that she cleanses debuffs and full heals. Like, okay, let's... Let's put a single target team. Um, that's impossible, right? Like, I, I don't think you can do that. Because um, units are better than others. Like, you're not going to tell me that the one is going to be just as good as SR Blue Melly in that activity, right? So, uh, uh, they didn't say it's going to be exactly that, right? Like, where, where every unit is going to be just as good as another unit, but like... You know, if the unit, if the the event is challenging, and you know, it's not unit dependent, where like you can just use whatever unit you want. If you can use whatever unit you want, it's not challenging, right? But I mean, they, they probably just mean like, oh, you're not gonna need like, you know, like the newest Ragnarok character to have a, a easier time. 
I'm assuming they just mean like, okay, if you have like festival units, that's fine, right? Like if you have like Trader Melly and the one, you're already gonna have an easier time than if you didn't, but like you don't need to have like a character that specifically was designed to beat the activity. And I think that's fine. I think that's good. We're done. So much stuff was talked about in this video. And I didn't even talk about Dark Souls 2, which I'm, I'm playing right now. I'm going for my Dark Souls phase. It It's really good. Dark Souls actually is really good. Anyways. 